So often when we talk about buying gear for a sound kit, we often talk about the electronics and the expensive stuff. But today, we're gonna to talk about the 10 items that you can buy cheap and available at your drugstore. I'm Andrew from Deity Microphones, and welcome back to Sound 101. <music> Item number one, moleskin. This soft furry fabric tape is critical to hiding lavaliers under clothing. Moleskin is the go-to item for most sound mixers. Yes, there are other techniques and devices that can assist a sound mixer in concealing a lav, but moleskin is in everyone's kit. Let me show you how to make a moleskin sandwich. Cut a small strip of moleskin, place your lav on top of it. Stick a second strip right on top of that, but expose the tip of your microphone. Now remove the backing material of the bottom strip and stick it to your actor's skin, t-shirt, or even stick it to an object. That's what we call a plant mic. You'll find moleskin in the foot care section of your drugstore. Number two, sports elastic bandage wraps. Often, we will use transmitter straps when trying to hide a microphone on a thigh, ankle, sometimes even a chest or a stomach. But if you're in a pinch and you don't happen to have a proper transmitter strap, elastic sports bandages work just fine. All you have to do is wrap it around the person, use the little clips that are provided, and then just clip your transmitter to the bandage. Item number three, medical tape, medical scissors. As important as it is as to hide in the lav with moleskin, it's also important that we secure the wire so that it doesn't create odd bulges in the fabric. Last thing you need is to have a perfectly good hidden lav, but the wire coming down from it has made it look like you got some weird wrinkles going on. Item number four, makeup sponges. These are the kind of sponges that you'll find for removing makeup, but that's not what we plan on doing. Instead, use it kind of like a lavalier shock mount. You'll actually cut them down to size, poke a hole through it, and then actually shove your lavalier all the way through the makeup sponge. If you reveal just the tip of your lavalier inside the makeup sponge, you actually can get great sounding audio, and you can place that either underneath some clothing, or more importantly, if the person is wearing a tie, you can actually put it up into the tie knot itself without getting any kind of clothing noise. Makeup sponges do the exact same thing as the professional foam lavalier mounts, but you just have to do a little DIY work. Item number five, lingerie tape. Lingerie tape is often thought of as a tool for the wardrobe department to keep clothing from causing wardrobe malfunctions, but what we're gonna use it for is kind of reduce clothing on clothing rustle noise. Take the button-down shirt that men often wear. One layer on top of another layer will often create noise, but where the two layers meet, we just put a little lingerie tape and keeps them glued together. This prevents noise, and we can actually get a clean lavalier mix. Item number six, laundry dryer sheets. Often, when we get on set and we come across someone who has very starchy clothing, what you can do is take a dryer sheet, just rub it right on the clothing, and it'll soften up the fabric, and hopefully get rid of some of that rustling noise. If not, we can always use our lingerie tape or moleskin. As you can see, these tools kind of build on each other. Item number seven, unlubricated condoms. Unlubricated condoms may seem like an odd choice to add to your toolkit, but it's actually really critical. When you're working near water or when you're working near someone who sweats a lot, what you wanna do is put your transmitter inside the condom, pull it all the way tight at the top, and then use some electrical tape to prevent sweat or water from getting into the transmitter. Plus, it's just really hygienic if you're having to move a transmitter from actor to actor to actor on set. You should always practice safe sound. Item number eight, breath mints. As a sound mixer, you're gonna be very personal with other people on set. You're gonna be really personal. Last thing you want is really bad breath. Number nine, cheap headphones. The electronics department of a drugstore is usually pretty cheap and rubbish, which means if you've gotta buy dozens of them, this is actually a pretty good option for you. And if you're having to deal with a lot of clients on set, you can actually just give them away at the end of the production and write it off as an expendable. The producer looks really good to the client, and you actually might be able to turn a small profit on some pretty cheap earbuds. Item number 10, batteries. Batteries can get incredibly expensive, but let's remember, drug stores take coupons, and sometimes they'll even double and triple coupons depending on what day of the week it is. So between coupons, weekly specials, and your reward savings card, you can actually find some pretty good deals at the drugstore on batteries. Just remember though, avoid batteries that are listed as heavy duty or from brands you've never heard of. Often those batteries aren't even alkaline and shouldn't even be used in your TV remote. And there you have it. Now clearly there's more than 10 different items you can get at a drugstore, especially when we start getting into the nitty gritties of expendables. But this should at least get you started. 
What is your favorite oddball audio tool that you use that we didn't talk about? Tell us in the comments below. The best comment is gonna win a DD shotgun microphone. If you like our videos here at DD Microphones, click on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notifications when we put out new videos weekly. I'm Andrew from DD Microphones. Thank you for watching.